I work with a lot of clients who are relocating to the main line and a question I get a lot is about the public transportation and walkability and bike lanes. So I thought I would just do a quick video about getting around the main line. So let's start with uh, walkability. So there are two things you need to know about walking if you are going to live on the main line. The first one is many, many of our roads have no sidewalks and they often have no shoulders either. So there are lots of roads that you just wouldn't feel safe to walk on. The second thing is when people talk about walkability, while they're sometimes talking about being able to walk around the neighborhood or jog or push a stroller, walk a dog, a lot of times what they mean is being able to walk to a destination, retail, restaurants, that kind of thing. The way the main line is set up, most of those services, restaurants, that kind of thing are located along Route 30, which is Lancaster Avenue. And if you happen to live somewhere that is walkable to that area, you might have that version of walkability. But in general, most of the areas to the north and south are residential. So it's not that likely you will be able to walk to much of a destination if you can walk at all. So the main line does not score very high in the walkability ratings. So then there is the public transportation. We do have SEPTA, which is the public transportation company, and they have uh, trains and buses and in the city subways, as well as some trolleys here and there. There are, along the main line, there's really one main line, which is what the main line is actually named for, the, the Paoli Thorndale train line, which pretty much parallels Lancaster Avenue, which is, again, the same as Route 30. So if you want to take the train, as long as you have access to that train, you're in pretty good shape. There's also the Media Elwin line, which runs in the Media, Swarthmore, Wallingford area and goes to University City. Beyond that though, we don't have much going on as far as trains on the main line. There are some buses here and there, uh, some that go down Westchester Pike, which is Route 3, some that go down Montgomery Avenue, but not a lot. So again, the public transportation out on the main line here is eh. As far as biking, we don't have many roads with bike lanes, but we have enough side roads and back roads that if you're trying to get somewhere by bike or you just wanna exercise, there are plenty of roads that are, that are safe. We also have a good number of trails like the Chester Valley Trail and the Kinwood Trail that are designated as non-vehicle trails. And those are great for biking as well. So while you may not be totally enthused by what I've said so far about the walking and biking, I will say that for a city as large as Philadelphia, the driving is not as bad, the traffic is not as bad as in many, many other cities. And I think that's in part because it's fairly spread out, but also in part because it's an old city. So there were a lot of side roads and back roads, other roads before there were the highways. So what I always say to people is, there are always five other ways to get there than using the highway. So really traffic's not as bad as you may expect. So that's a quick primer on getting around the main line.